Hey guys, it's Sarah Joy. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing some fun stuff in the kitchen this week. I'm gonna tackle the organization in my kitchen. I'm sure like a lot of you, um, I have pots and pans and all kinds of appliances just shoved everywhere in my cabinets and I really wanna make a system out of that. So I'm gonna to head to the store and try to find some stuff to uh, simplify and organize this and then see how it turns out. So let's get started. I'm outside of Bed Bath & Beyond right now. I forgot the name of it for a second. So I'm outside of the store right now and I plan on going in and looking for under cabinet pots and pans organization. My first thought is to get, they're like, racks that will slide in and out so basically you can put all of your stuff that goes in your cabinet on this rack and the rack will like slide in and out of your doors you can put like a little kick on it so you can just kind of like pull it out see everything and shove it back where you don't have to be like pulling stuff out to get stuff out which is what I have to do all the time with like my blender and instant pot and toaster and it just it can, uh, it can get a little intense. So my first plan is to try to find those, but if they're not big enough, then I will probably move on to another plan. So we'll see. All right, here is what I grabbed from Bed Bath & Beyond. So this is the Org well-organized 14 inch sliding under cabinet organizer. So um, it is, let's see, weight capacity 55 pounds. Sounds good. And then it is 20 inches by 15 by 4.5 so it should um, it's a little smaller than the door openings but I think there will be more room for me to organize stuff and then I also got some of these little racks I don't know if I'll need them um, but they're pretty cheap so I got two of these and then two of these and we'll see um, if they work the kitchen island so this is the disaster we're working with right here because I have everything shoved into one place, including all of the Tupperware, glassware up there, and then all of my appliances. Just, they gotta fight their way in every day, and there's not enough room for everything. So, I'm gonna take all this out, and then I guess my plan is to put the racks, the pull-out racks, like here, and maybe here? I don't know. I probably need to leave room for the cutting boards and stuff, but yeah, I'm not sure. And then I might take this shelf out. We'll see um, on how I need to organize it. But if I do take the shelf out, then I will put some more shelves in the middle um, just to probably house all this kind of stuff. Okay, I have the bottom of my cabinets cleaned out. And now I'm about to put these uh, racks in here. Let me show you what kind of situation we have. Okay, here's the rack. So they slide in and out. Basically it would slide forward here. You can't really tell. There are the hinges. Um, so the only thing that I need to do now is to place them and then bolt this part into the ground so that it stays put and the rack will just slide out as needed. So my plan is, I think, to just give them a little bit of room on the sides to not bump and then to roll out like this. And then I'll have like a little section in the middle where I can keep, um, I guess, like easy to grab stuff like baking goods, I think. They like baking bowls and uh, measuring cups and stuff. And then I think I'll keep the appliances in these um, as a plan I'm working with right now. So the next part, it comes with this little template. And so you're supposed to um, get it placed where you want and then set the template down and then it shows you where to drill into the ground. Um, so I'll be dr drilling into this cabinet to just bolt it into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Some parts 
of installation were harder than other parts. Let's just say that. It was a little, was a little hard to screw into this, um, but I'm glad it's over with. So we've got these nice and secure. Um, and now I'm gonna go start loading them up and organizing it. So let's uh, see how this all fits in here. what we have. We have this greatly organized system. I'm sure it's still not perfect, but honestly, I'm so happy with um, the progress that we got. So I thought in the, in the beginning that I was going to need to put in some extra shelving down here, and I didn't even need to do that. These two kind of just solved everything for me. So I think I'm going to return the other two pieces that I bought, the little shelves, and uh, do something else. But let me show you um, everything it fits. So I've got all of my Tupperware, glassware stuff up here. Um, and I guess it's kind of designed, I don't have a ton of leftovers right now, but it's kind of like an airport, you know? Like, you should never have enough space to have everything in storage. <laughs> there will always be some in use. Um, but here is this first one. So there's plenty of space on it. I have a crock pot, a blender, a toaster, and then in the corner I have a cutting board that is active use. So that just slides in and out and I have the taller, you know, blender up front so that the shelf doesn't get in the way. And then in the back, back here, I have some French presses and a percolator. And then just handy up here is all of my mixing bowls, my colander and measuring cups. And then this pull-out shelf has the Instant Pot, which I do use quite often. And then all of my little blender, grinder things back here. So this is a uh, food processor, this is a coffee grinder, and then this is a bullet blender. And then the little cups and rings and blades that go with it. So that is all right there. And then I just decided to move the juicer to uh, another cabinet that I don't use very often because I don't use the juicer very often. <laughs> so um, this really simplified everything. These shelves are super nice. I really like how smooth they are. And uh, I feel like that makes it just a lot easier. Um, you don't mind putting stuff like deep back there because you can still get to all of it without taking all the rest out, which I feel like was the main thing that was the worst. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I am really happy with how this turned out. All right, friends, that's all I have for you this week. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Maybe you learned some stuff to implement in your own kitchen. Um, it really feels good to have a system. So I hope you got something out of that. I will be back next Tuesday in the new year with another video for you. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And I will see you then. Bye. What a wonderful world.